Hey everyone, this is Austin with Austin Lindsay Photography. Today I thought I'd show you a little DIY camera slider um, that I built from parts just at the Home Depot. This cost me under eight bucks. Um, the original concept I saw on Film Riot's YouTube channel, but I just built one that required less drilling and, and uh, cutting and all that stuff. This one basically just kind of puzzle pieces together um, with just one hole is needed for drilling in the uh, part that um, holds the camera. And I'll show you how that works. Basically, I bought three of these conduit um, wire holders, I guess, electrical boxes, and I popped out the holes here, and then just uh, got, they sold these pre-cut five foot conduit pieces, and I got one of them and cut it in half, so this thing is two and a half feet wide or long, or whatever you want to call it. And so I, Got the connectors on the end, plugged them in the holes here, and then um, fed a piece, uh, fed this through the middle of the pipes here just so it would slide along. Um, the Film Riot one, they uh, used some what are they, PVC T-joints and kind of made a little platform across there, which was pretty cool, but um, they were talking about how it's kind of rough when you're sliding it along, so they put a little rag or piece of cloth through the middle so it would go smooth. This one I just took little pieces of uh, Velcro, just self-adhesive Velcro, and just put them around the holes here. And I think that kind of solves the problem with the uh, sliding along pretty smooth. Um, and then I took the uh, top part, which is basically an electrical uh, outlet box, and uh, I got a, this is a fourth inch uh, I think it's 20, 20 thread count, and this will mount in the bottom of a camera, of any camera really. I, this is the only hole I drilled just, just for this, for this uh, bolt here, which is a quarter inch hole. And I basically, you can probably screw it in if you'd like, I just set it on top. I thread this into the bottom of the camera, and then I set this on top. So that's basically a under $8 DIY DSL camera slider. So if you like it, comment, um, subscribe to my channel, and I'll show you a little video of some uh, footage I shot with this thing, and you can see how it looks. So thanks for watching.